Hello and welcome to Nekik World Podcast. The Nekik World Podcast aims to uplift, inspire, motivate and to encourage personal growth and introspection. I am your host RJ and hope to help you connect into your inner spirit. Welcome back to Nekik World Podcast. Today I want to talk about the power of joy. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought anxiety, heartbreak, anger and discord to many. In some areas, church gatherings are being limited or even discouraged by health officials. And churches had to become adept at modern technology to find new ways of staying in communication. Online services have now become the new reality. You know, with a cloud of the coronavirus hanging over it, this year 2021 may even be harder for us. Some of us are worried about getting sick or fear for loved ones who have the coronavirus or at, are at the risk of getting serious complications from it. A lot of people can't afford to stay at home right now and giving up work in the face of so much economic uncertainty. There are plenty of other reasons. It's impossible for some people to see anything remotely positive but our life has changed right now. The challenge is to maintain positivity and hope against the backdrop of this pandemic. That is why joy is needed now more than ever. You know, as a young child, I grew up in a very, very poor environment. You know, sand streets, at you know, that time we didn't even have tar roads and stuff like that. I, I soon realized at a very young age the power of joy, how to use joy and how joy is needed to overcome obstacles in the way. You know, at one stage, I didn't have shoes. Whilst all the children around me had shoes and could go to school, I felt embarrassed. I knew I had to overcome this embarrassment. And then you know what? I just made myself joyful and that has become a mantra to me personally. My friends and family knows that I believe that joy is an incredibly powerful companion during challenges and suffering. You know, having grown up during the years of apartheid in South Africa was never uh, easy. Also in the environment that I stayed, you know, leaving school very early to young people, parents to earn an income was the norm. And for me, wanting to pursue an academic career, even going beyond primary school to high school was a challenge. And I faced a lot of animosity because I did, out of that neighborhood, want to educate myself and go to a high school or even university. You know, and this is why I embrace joy. You know, my favorite hymn in our church hymn is the hymn number 136. Let your hearts be ever joyful. My WhatsApp slogan even is, ever joyful, ever joyful. And that's why today I want to really explore the topic of living a joyful life. You know, letting your hearts be ever joyful. You are listening to Nekik World Podcast. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube and podcast platforms. Send your emails to podcast at nacinchina.com. Joy is not the same as happiness. Happiness tends to be the pleasurable feeling we get from having that sense that life is going well. Joy, on the other hand, has a mysterious capacity to be felt alongside sorrow and even sometimes, most especially, in the midst of suffering. This is because joy is what we feel deep in our bones when we re realize and feel connected to others and to what is genuinely good beautiful and meaningful. This is possible even in pain. Whereas happiness is generally the effect of evaluating our circumstances and being satisfied with our lives, joy does not depend on good circumstances. The key to living more joyfully now is to make a conscious, continual decision to not only engage in mood-boosting activities, but to think about things that brings joy. 
According to neuroscientist Rick Hansen, our brains are wired to pay attention to negative things more than the positive. That's how we evolved and survived. That means that one has to make a conscious effort to feel joyful, to rewire one's brain in a way. Some people have to work harder at it than others. We are all different as such. What makes me feel good will differ from what others find good. We need to discover what suits us and do more of that. We need to look at what interests us, at where our strengths lie, and focus our energy there. That's usually where the gold is, the gold of joy. The more we do things we enjoy, the more content we become. This can include both small actions and bigger, but more meaningful activities. A joyful life is the best experience we can hope to achieve. It's a kind of life that produces positive vibes and feel-good energy, and it encourages us to look at to the future with high hopes. Pure joy might seem like a fleeting emotion, but even if you only feel it for a moment in time, you can hold on to it, you can relish in it. Living a life of true joy every day is an ongoing process, but there are simple steps to take each time you need to assess your life and make changes. You are listening to Nakik World Podcast. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube and podcast platforms. Send your emails to podcast at nacinchina.com. As I said earlier, there are simple steps to make us live more joyfully. Let me give some suggestions. Firstly, make clear of who you are. We are used to living our lives in accordance with how society wants us to be. Consequently, a lot of us are hesitant to express ourselves, afraid that people around us won't understand. We all want to belong. Nobody wants to be part of a minority. When you decide to be yourself, expect rejection and mockery. Freeing yourself from the suffocating bond of someone else's beliefs is a tough road to take. Nevertheless, don't let it stop you from turning to be the amazing person that you are. Make clear who you are. Secondly, live life with purpose. There is nothing more exciting and fulfilling when you know what you are living for. Most of us suffer from the agony of not knowing what our purpose in, is in this world. It's disheartening and this depressing. Waking up every day going to work, just the simple acts of living seems like a simple chore. That feeling when you see your friends happy, you feel happy for them, but then again you can't miss that little pain of jealousy, knowing that they are living life meaningfully while you are still wondering, really looking for the reason of your existence. So putting pressure on yourself won't help you in living a purpose-driven life. Take one step at a time. For now, enjoy and appreciate what you have and learn from your experiences. One day, you will wake up knowing why you are here on this earth and what you are living for. Right? So live life with purpose. Thirdly, another step, live without regrets. You know, rejection, failure, lack of self-esteem, Aren't these the reasons why we are so afraid of getting out of our comfort zones? We have this mindset that being cocooned in the comfort of our box will spare us from the cruelty of what lies outside. It does help, somehow, but by doing so, you are denying yourself to experience the fullness of living life. True, there will be no rejection, failure and pain if you just adapt However, you will never find the answer to all your what and what is in life. There's nothing that can fill that void if you keep yourself locked into this small bubble that you've created. Go out and see what lies outside of your comfort zone. Yes, it is a tough world out there. And then that's the only way for you to live life with no regrets. So live your life without regrets. And fourthly, very importantly, 
nurture important relationships. You know, no man is an island. We have to rely on other people at some point. Accepting that we have limits and that we need help is not a sign of weakness. Rather, it's a sign of being mature. Thus, building a good relationship with family and friends is important. It's no, there's no need to have a big circle. You only need the ones that matter in your life. Those who love you despite your flaws, they understand your view of things, though do your different opinion, listen, they listen to you in your moments of anger and care for you without asking anything in return. Love and family are two of the most important things in life. They bring you joy like nothing else. Working 24-7 won't bring you joy, but the love of others and your family will. So, nurture those important relationships. And then lastly, pamper yourself. One of life's simplest joy is to be able to pamper yourself. With all the responsibilities we have to take care of, it's so easy to overwork and forget about ourselves. We have to remember though, that to live a joyful life, we have to keep everything in balance. If you are worried that you have to spend money to pamper yourself, don't be. Waking up late is a form of self-care. Exercise, go for a walk, be one with nature, you know, slow down, take a rest from all your responsibilities for a few hours. These are simple steps that we can follow to live a joyful life. You are listening to Nakik World Podcast. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube and podcast platforms. Send your emails to podcast at nacinchina.com. Life is a series of ups and downs. One moment we are in cloud nine, the next we are faced with a heartbreaking tragedy. Despite all that, always choose joy. True, we don't go through the same things. Some people have it worse than us. All the painful memory, the events of a horrible past, let us all leave these things behind. People who remain joyful through tough times, focus and aim to be joyful. Most of us don't make joy a priority. We race through the list of things we ought to do. We get to bed exhausted. We get up in the morning and we dread the day. But there are people who find that joy is a byproduct of doing what they want to do. They pursue their own interests and say no to people who want to rob them of their joy. People who are critical of their goals and do nothing but complain. We have a whole life ahead of us. Joy is waiting on the other side. And may be hard for now, but remember, we are capable of living a joyful life. We can choose joy no matter what. It's truly a choice. Living more joyfully is making intentional decisions every day to choose and bring joy to others. There is so much joy to be lived out on this life on earth. Let your hearts be ever joyful. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube and podcast platforms. Send your emails to podcast at nacinchina.com. Nakik World Podcast is broadcasted twice weekly every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. Beijing time. Until next time, stay safe, be blessed, till we meet again.